All right, getting a little late getting out day number three of the Niagara Force certification training. Uh, day three was a big wow. In fact, I have to have a little couple of uh, scribblings on some notes here to make sure I talk about all the things that happened in day three. Day three for me, for in the, the, the way the scheduling of all the items of the class uh, for me uh, in this class has been power packed on day three, I'm telling you. So beginning the day three, what we talked about was uh, setting up device templates, making it easy to be able to drag in uh, controllers on a job site and putting it to the station, making it a little bit easier, preloaded type stuff where it includes all the points, all the uh, histories, the files for the uh, graphics, all that stuff combined into a template so you could just drag and drop and just automatically put some stuff into the station for you. So that was the beginning of the day. Uh, later on we talked about what I think is the meat of being able to do a control system. So besides getting the programming and the points of the controller correct, I think the meat of a system to the end user is going to be scheduling, alarms, and trend logs, or in this case histories. Uh, so the meat of the system was what we talked about uh, you know, in day three, uh, definitely was worth that if you haven't spent a lot of time in Niagara or working on projects, that day is going to be the day you're going to ask lots of questions. And I encourage you to ask a lot of questions and, and try to do a couple of things because literally it was jam packed with stuff. We ran through it really quickly. So honestly, if you got questions about it, ask it fast because uh, all this stuff happened in day three. It was scheduling alarms, histories. We also started messing with uh, some PX files. Uh, so that's the graphics and uh, custom palettes uh, kind of mentioned on how to set up the palettes so that you could easily save some things that you use quite often save it as a palette and you're able to drag and drop it into your station uh, kind of help speed things along once you know what you want to use often um, the other thing I'm, I, I've noticed uh, as we came through some comments and talking about how it was important to use the controls that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I'm still sticking with that only because it seems like uh, some Niagara 4 trainings that uh, work on other manufacturers like Honeywell, um, Johnson, they use a very basic, very vanilla flavor. They do everything inside the Jace in the wire sheets, whereas other manufacturers, and in this case, this tech, uh, tend to have their own tools that they kind of break things out of the Jace. So definitely, it's a, it would not, I would not recommend somebody that doesn't do this tech to go to a this tech uh, flavor of N4 training because they're going to show you a lot of tools and things that really you're not going to be using if you're maybe working with other set of controls. Um, other than that, day three uh, definitely was a long day. I started at seven. Uh, I guess we were a little bit behind, so we started the day a little early, and it lasted till about 5:30. So there was a lot of stuff to do in day three. Um, I'm actually here in day four, nearing the end of day four, actually, and uh, same thing. Lots of good stuff. Uh, kind of opened my eyes a little bit to hierarchies, but I'll save that for tomorrow to make a video. Um, and as far as if you're following along, uh, tomorrow will be day four of actual class training. Day five is going to be the exam day and I'm probably going to combine uh, my overall wrap up of this whole N4 certification thing as well as how the exam turned out all in one video so stick around for that last video that's going to be the important one to really get my thoughts overall of did it change my mind did the what I walked into this training did, I, did any of that change over the course of four or five days that make me say oh it's different than what I thought it was or was it exactly what I thought Check check in uh, check out the video tomorrow. Check in with me and subscribe on YouTube at uh, YouTube the Controls Freak. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video.